Gentle souls, fragile hearts, praying for hope to start. And they're just angels. They're just angels. They're just angels waiting on wings. They're just angels waiting on wings. Hi and welcome to the Angel Announcements on Tuesday the 9th of August. Today in the announcements we learned an update about Vivint Gives Back, a song by Keith Semple. We learn about Sophie Smocks, we learn something about the Angelman Syndrome Foundation Conference and much more. So let's begin with the big news. The big news is that in the Vivint Gives Back project where FAST is hoping to win $250,000, uh, FAST is leading. Currently, before I came online, their voting stood at 146,170, and the nearest rival is 133,751. I believe that a team from Vivint is going to go and visit the team in Darien, Illinois, and get some footage, and so that's on the August the 15th. If you need some more information about that, please contact Paula Evans via the FAST website, cureangelman.org. Along those lines, in the last week, we also saw Colin Farrell appear on the David Letterman show and do a big plug for Angelman Syndrome and particularly for people voting for FAST. Colin has been a long time being an advocate of Angelman Syndrome since his son James was diagnosed in the last couple of years. He's also been to the Angelman, Ga Angelman um, the FAST Angelman Gala in December in the last couple of years. Another person who's looking to raise awareness and also raise funds through to FAST and Awareness of Angelman Syndrome is Keith Semple. Now Keith has recorded a song called Little Angels and he's don donating money towards FAST. You can check out the song which Francesca really rocked down to and was singing first time that she heard through and wanted me to play again at keithsemple.net. Check out that link, that's keithsemple.net. I want to tell you about a grandma who's really going to town to help support families of children with Angelman Syndrome and she's established what's called Sophie Smocks. The lady is Lois and let me read a little bit about what she's doing. When my growing da granddaughter who has Angelman Syndrome couldn't fit bibs anymore, I took out my sewing machine to solve the problem. I showed the resulting smock to friends who loved it and my project Sophie Smocks named after my granddaughter, was born, so that many kids with Angelman Syndrome could have a free smock. What she does, she goes on to say is, I buy new and gently used turtlenecks and trim. Supporters donate their time to cut and sew, and their money for postage and materials to keep the project going. All the smocks are free for children or older with Angelman Syndrome. I make child 6 to adult XL. So, to get a smock, all you've got to do is to ask by emailing smocks at cox.net. Give your child shirt size plus a name and mailing address including your zip code. I'll send one as soon as I can. There's no catch and no obligation. Lois has asked me to uh, promote that, that's Sophie's smock. So, You'll see the email address below and in the comments if you want to send off and get hold of a smock for your child or individual. One of the things I neglected to do was to tell you about uh, the Angelman Syndrome Conference that was happening when I last did a Angelman announcement. That was happening in Salt Lake City. There was some awesome gathering of people, some wonderful research, the scientific symposium, but I'm told by Cindy Snyder that the place to be was in fact the lobby where she got to put faces to names and actually greet uh, other children and families in person that she'd been in communication with online but hadn't had the opportunity. So I believe that's the place to hang out at the next Angelman Syndrome Conference which I believe is going to be in Orlando, back in Orlando, Florida. There were some really awesome presentations and Cindy highly recommends the presentation by Dr. Philpot on research that's going on. 
you can check out the details at IntelliQuestMedia.com and look for this link for the Angelman Syndrome Foundation proceedings. They're available on CDs, but they're also available online. Some great presentations from Genetics 101 to seizures to staying close when you feel like screaming about marriage and relationships, fighting monsters with rubber swords, and also one about art therapy. While I'm talking about art, art therapy, I'd like to give a plug for uh, SplashArt.org. Now, SplashArt.org is an initiative that myself and um, a lady, Louisa, have set up in the US to help promote our children uh, doing work and things, artwork associated with Angelman Syndrome. We're hoping to do an installation of some work at the Fast Gala at the end of the year. And I uh, just want to encourage you to either log on to the Facebook page or log on to the site and begin to share your child's artwork. Big shout out to a new organisation that have set themselves up, what I think is just recently, and this is the Minnesota uh, Angels. That's mnangelsunited.org, Minnesota Angels United. A group of parents have got together to support one another and to provide information and in promoting awareness of Angelman Syndrome. So if you live in the Minnesota area, check them out, or if you want to send a message of support or encouragement to those guys. <clears throat> Angelrunners.com Come to know Jason Bernstein, who ha who's a runner, and there are a number of people that have got on board in terms of running events and getting sponsorship to help raise awareness of Angelman Syndrome and to help promote research and uh, awareness as well. There's a couple of notes on the calendar for, for Jason and his team at angelrunners.com. Uh, on September the 17th, there'll be close to a dozen angel runners who will be running the Air Force half and full marathon. Uh, Scott Ealing is an angelman dad to, Pren to Brendan and Brendan's 10. Scott will be running the full uh, Air Force marathon, that's 26.2 miles. Go Scott! Jason says he's going to be running the half marathon for that race. Well, Scott and his wife Jen will also be running the Chicago half marathon before they travel down to Dayton, Ohio for the Air Force one. Well, Jason goes on to say that he has in fact signed up for the Deep Detroit Free Press full marathon on October the 16th, 2011. And that's going to be his first. Big shout out to Rod Gamba. Uh, sponsor of equipment for Jason and his training. Uh, PolarRepair.com, so check out PolarRepair.com and let's help support Rob, who's also the dad of a, a son who has Angelman Syndrome. Big ups to Reggie Ham. Reggie has now given me permission to use Angels Waiting on Wings as the theme music for Angelman Announcements. Thanks, Reggie. Check out uh, Reggie's uh, website, ReggieHam.com. Check out the work that's going on with the Angel Wings Foundation and the upcoming Bella Bash. The links are here or the links you can find on the comments below. A couple of things just to round things out today is a smile is an inexpensive way to change your looks. I want to tell you next week a little bit about um, coffee and networking and how just everyday events can get us connected to the people who can help us with Angelman awareness. I want to close out today with my inspiration and uh, one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing here. And it's a quote from Mary Ann Williamson and it goes like this. You'll become familiar with it, I've no doubt. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond all measure. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to manifest the glory of God that is in us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Well, goodbye and God bless you and ka kite ano, and we look forward to having you again next week on Angelman Announcements. 
praying for hope to start And they're just angels They're just angels They're just angels Waiting on wings They're just angels Waiting on wings